Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? So first of all, our readings here are future based, not water based. Even though you're a fishy, no. <laughs> so it would be helpful if you if you can write down specific day or month or year or decades that I will see, because it's a future prediction. That's when you go to a reader to see the future, not the past. If you want to see the past. You can call them the out of town. <laughs> so I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get the tarot and some sky and crystal over here also. So let's see what's going on. Um, I'm using different kinds of the tarot. Okay. I see numbers, names, synchronicity, different things. Okay. So resonance should be slim. And then you come back and then you see all of it would resonate because it's for the coming days. Okay. Let's see here. Pum, pum, pum. The fool. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So, um, in the last two weeks of August, you will, I feel like, encounter more of living a life of color. Okay. So... It's more of beauty, radiance, energy, and just feeling free, wild and free with the full card. So think of it like, you know, your beauty. You remember Black Beauty? Like she's just a stallion, you know, just going out there. Because you can't be Nemo. You're going to be eaten by a shark. <laughs> or was that Dory or Dora? Okay. I don't know. Dory. Okay. <laughs> so um, you can't be. So you're free. You're young. You have this youth. Yeah, you have this presence of energy inside you that it just makes you want to do things and explore and uh, you know try out new things in life also that's the fool um the journey of the fool of course is is it's in the first stage of uh, maturity you know in if i were to do it traditional with the with the tarot so this is like thirsty to learn more thirsty for life for knowledge and just you are just like a sponge Okay, so from Finding Nemo to Spongebob, okay? So that's who your character is for the last two weeks. So think of it this way. I'm Spongebob the last two weeks. That's what Sal said. So I should not give an F, which is very Spongebob. When did he worry, okay? So that would be such a Pisces, I feel. <laughs> not Spongebob. You know who is Squidward, that one? Okay. But Patrick also doesn't worry. So you, I wonder who's other Zoe. Maybe Gemini doesn't worry also, you know. But they do, oh, they do have a switch in mind. So they can be Patrick maybe. Um, the amoeba. <laughs> I don't know who the amoeba is. <laughs> the real thing. And also um, the, you know, the octopus guy. Okay. Who's always upset. There's one who's always moody. Which zodiac would that be? <laughs> So, so you're Spongebob. Mm. High Priestess also. So Masters of the Occult, Mysticism, and just keeping things to yourself. Mm. This is a wonderful time to meditate for you. Plankton and Squidward there, my teleprompter. So Plankton. So name the Zodiac that you think who is Plankton and name the Zodiac who is uh, Squidward. I'm not going to do it for you. Okay. But I kind of have my own opinion. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so the high priestess here, uh, it feels that you are, um, you're, you're more of optimistic that when the universe has, and the universe has spoken to me, and the only thing that I know that it will come to me is what is good for me. Oh, very positive energy there. Oh, I love that. With the high priestess, Google research is high priestess. The high priestess also does her incantation rituals and altar magic. You know, that's her. So you are a spiritual worker with the high priestess in the full card. So in the coming two weeks, you are advised to keep continuing all your spiritual work. <gasps> For the wish shall be granted. The star card. Okay. So love it. Love that. Mm -hmm. So this is following your guides, your intuition. Yeah, so that's the star. Uh -huh. um, the high priestess and the star believes in divine timing, which this is it now for you. Um, in the coming two weeks, um, you will have more synchronicity 
your dreams will start to manifest. Deja vu will come upon you. I feel like a, pro a prophet will come upon you. Oh, oh sheesh. <laughs> will come. Will come to you, okay? See, when I go deep there, I go to like, wow. So, so this is what it is. You know, a white feather, a rose, a flower. All this will start to communicate to you. Like everything all of a sudden has meaning and has life. But your ex is dead to you. <laughs> no kidding. So that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Everything has meaning in life except you. You gotta forgive that person already. Let it go. Mm. Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh. It's just a wonderful... It's a good time. I think you guys you guys have a good reading also the last time. Um, it's a good time to be a Piscean when everything is just about life of abundance, health, and how come I'm hearing promiscuity? <laughs> You do you, boo. Okay. You do you. I don't know how you can do that right now. Okay, <laughs> But life of abundance and promiscuity, that means only fans. No? I'm kidding. <laughs> no shade over there. You do you. Okay. I'm just a comedian over here trying to make a coin. Okay. <laughs> so, with a ten of cups, a life of bliss is what you're having. Okay. Very light. This is good. Okay. Last two weeks, uh, nine, eight of pentacles, continuously working, mm -hmm. continuously working on yourself, focusing on your agenda, two of swords with an emperor and the four of swords. Now, if there is sleeping beauty, okay, because I sense like this is some sort of a fairy tale kind of energy, meaning it's so magical. The person who you have uh, a connection with is about to speak their truth. Four of Swords and the Emperor. Love it. Yes. Mm. Okay. So that's someone who's going to wake up and express their feelings to you. Four of Swords and the Emperor. Okay. Now, the Two of Swords here and the High Priestess, the way I see this is that it's up to you to allow this person to come into your life. But I feel like if there's a sleeping beauty or a sleeping prince, if we can call that a prince, I don't know, or emperor, I don't know, your majesty is awakened, okay? <laughs> With the four of swords, someone who is uh, dormant, okay? I like how I was talking to my mom yesterday, but dormant and doormat, because I asked about doormat. <laughs> and then she asked, dormant? Doormat, okay? So... The person, think of it like Godzilla, okay. Underneath the deep part of the ocean, here comes your emperor, okay. Someone is slowly awakening to the connection. Realize, they're also having dreams with you, four of swords with the ten of cups, okay. This is getting warmer, mm -hmm. Okay, four of cups in the wheel of fortune. I sense in the coming days, if there was, because the four of cups here is not rejection, it's not. Conversation. If there is an ongoing conversation between someone of romantic interest, the Wheel of Fortune will spin to your favor. You have the Wheel of Fortune in the star card. Mm -hmm. So fate and destiny aligns you to the person that you're meant to be with. All right. So I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below for extended. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys. Hi, welcome to Eat, Read, Love flagship store, where we have everything that you need for your metaphysical, magical, spiritual needs. Everything here you can see is our own creations. Different crystals that you can wear, amulets or diffusers, to also to some unique items, which is our pick-me-up crystals. Our focal point is our healing fountain. So this fountain I specially made for people who come here to enjoy abundance and prosperity at the same time enjoying the ambiance of the store. I want you to even feel the experience by visiting our store in Studio City. I'll see you then.